guys welcome back to my channel and another vlog it is ramadan week three and if you are new here welcome my name is meta i'm so glad you guys are here don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and comment down below your thoughts today is day 17 ramadan so we're in our third week and it is like going slow but flying by at the same time and i don't know how else to describe it besides that it's like the days feel so long but then we're already like into the third week so it's like whoa like okay it's happening this is happening <laughs> i just got dressed and ready because i'm gonna be making this honeycomb bread it's like a yemeni dessert recipe they look like little honeycombs okay look at that i look how delicious that looks it's like dough and then on the inside it's like cheese and then it like when it melts like ooey and gooey i've had it before when we go eat at like arabic dessert places sometimes they have them and so mustafa's always been like a huge fan of them and he came across this video on tiktok the other day and he sent it to me and he never ever ever asked for anything like mustafa is seriously like the most go with the flow like whatever is easiest for me like that's what he wants so he like never asked me like do anything for him so when he sent me this he was like can you please make this for me i was like i'm definitely making this for you because you deserve it so we're making him this dessert today and i'm gonna show you guys how i make it you have to like make the dough i think that's gonna be the hardest part but we're gonna do it on camera together with you guys and we're gonna surprise him with it he has no idea he's at work right now Matic is at school so i have to kind of prep the dough and then go pick up Matic and come back and finish it because i think the dough is gonna take the longest to rise so i'm gonna go ahead and knock that out so yeah let's get started let's do this together i'm gonna go ahead and do three and a half cups of flour into my little mixing bowl And then one half a teaspoon salt. And then I'm just gonna kinda give that a good mix. Okay, in a separate cup, I'm gonna do one cup of milk and then we're gonna warm it in the microwave for a little bit because that's what the recipe says. It says uh, to add warm milk, so do one cup. So I warmed up the milk, it's a cup of milk, and then you're also gonna wanna warm up one fourth cup of water. And then I'm just gonna kind of mix it into, I'm gonna mix the water into the milk. And then I'm gonna also mix one fourth cup of white sugar and our magic ingredient, yeast. We're gonna do two teaspoons of yeast. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a really good mix. Okay, so our yeast kind of started to form bubbles on the top. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the top has like bubbles on it and they said to wait for about 10 minutes or until it gets like bubbly at the top. And then we can add it to our flour mixture and like mix it up really well. Yeast smells so bad to me. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that? Did I forget to add this is like my first time making like any sort of bread. Give it a really good mix. I'm just gonna use my hands because I don't have like a, a mixer, like a dough mixer. I've made dough with my mom plenty of times, just never like by myself <laughs> is what I meant by that. Then you're gonna do about five tablespoons of butter and then one egg. Okay, now we're gonna mix this up really, really well for about five to 10 minutes until it becomes more of like a doughy consistency is what we want. Ooh, some hard work. Ooh, I'm over here sweating. Growing up, my mom always made us like homemade pizzas, homemade everything. So she always made dough by hand. Man, I gotta give her props, this is hard. Oh my God, my shoulder hurts so bad. Okay, it was starting to be really sticky, so I added a little bit more water, and now it's better. Okay, our dough is looking good. It's soft, it's mixed well. Now we need to cover it and let it sit for about an hour, because it has to double in size, and then we can finish it. Yay, I got the dough part done, at least. Okay, now we just let it sit here for an hour and let it rise. I'm gonna go pick up Malik and I'll be back. All right, you guys, I am in the car and I'm going to pick up Malik now. Um, I do need like these black seeds to put on top of the dessert. I don't have any. I don't think you can buy it from like any store. So I'm just gonna go pick some up from my mom's house because of course she has any seasoning spice that you can think of. Obviously she's an Arab mother. So she has all the necessities. So sometimes I just go grocery shopping in her pantry. Got the goods. There are these black seeds. I don't know what they're called in Arabic, but that's them. So we're good now. 
I was just gonna omit it, not put this part, but I feel like this is what makes it, so it's needed. I just got home, and look at this. It rose so beautifully. I was like kind of worried, but it looks so good. It's supposed to double in size, and it definitely did that, yay. So now we can continue with our next steps. Okay, now we can punch it and flatten it down and then roll them into balls that I'm gonna put in two separate little containers, but I need to grease them up first, but I'm gonna do two. Just greasing my pan up really well. Now we're supposed to roll them into balls and then just place them on your little dish. Finish the first one. Okay, the second dish is done too. We need to stuff them with the cream cheese. Cut up my cream cheese into like little, just like cubes of cheese and I'm just gonna start stuffing them. So I'm just gonna like open each one up, stuff it. And roll it. Okay, I'm gonna add a block of cream cheese. So I'm kind of flattening them out and then adding the cream cheese and then I'm rolling it. Okay guys, I finished stuffing both of them and now you have to let it rise. So I'm just gonna cover it up and let them rise and then they will be all good to go. The dough turned out so good. I'm like really excited about it. I brought my niece to entertain Maddox while I did this because I knew he was gonna be like driving me crazy. So she's entertaining him, but I let the dough rise for 30 more minutes and look what they look like now. Ta-da! Ah, they look so good puffed up and gorgeous they look now i have one egg and i cracked it and we're gonna put some egg wash over them okay now we can top them with our little sesame black sesame seeds See, that makes like such a huge difference. I'm really glad I didn't skip this step. I also went ahead and preheated my oven to 350. Okay, and I'm also gonna do sesame seeds. Tell me this doesn't look delicious. I just need to bake it in the oven and they're all done. I also have to make like a sugar syrup, just like a sugary syrup to put on top, but that's that's like the final, final step. I'm really proud of myself for doing this. I'm not gonna lie, can't believe I did this. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until they get like golden brown and cooked all the way through. Okay, you guys, I just put that in the oven. I'm gonna wait about 20, 25 minutes until they're done. I feel like that took me so long and Mustafa better like these. He still doesn't know about it. He called me. He's like, what are you doing? Why like, why aren't you texting me or calling me? And I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm filming. I have a lot of stuff to film. So I hope he really likes it. They just came out of the oven and look how oh, amazing they look. I can't believe I made this. No, like really, I cannot believe this. They look so good, but they're not done yet. We still have to make like a simple syrup to pour on top of them and then they'll be done. But oh my God, I literally... I can't wait to eat this, it smells so good. Mm. Okay, we're gonna make the syrup and Maddox is gonna help me. Are you gonna help me? Yay, why do you whisper everything? We're gonna do half a cup of sugar. And one half cup of water. We're gonna let that come to a boil. That was like super quick, so that's literally it. Just turn off the heat and then we'll add our honey and that's it and then we're gonna add one tablespoon of honey i'm gonna go ahead and pour the syrup on top now this looks so good mustafa's almost here i went ahead and prepped like if dog because it's about to be time there's like 15 minutes left so we have leftover chicken and barbecue chicken Kusa and grape leaves and this is for a taco to make tacos. I also have like all the taco toppings Guacamole and then I have um, these little like 
Syrian sambusak, which is like pastry stuff with cheese and it's so good. So we're good on if thought. We have a lot of leftover food. So I am just waiting for him to come home so he can look at this. Oh, I think he's actually pulling it right now as we speak. You made it? I did. Oh my god. It think? smells so good. It does? Yeah, it looks Doesn't it really look so good. good? When did you make this? Today, it literally took me all day, by the way. Is that what you were doing? Yeah, it is. Uh, looks so good. Aren't you so excited to eat that? Mm-hmm. Thank God that this is all I want to eat. I know, right? It turned out amazing. Like, I'm actually really impressed. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> I know. How long did it take you? I, it wasn't, like, too hard. It's just you kind of have to, like, it's time consuming because, like, you have to let the dough, dough rise. rest. Yeah. yeah. Finally time to break our fast and I am losing it today. So I'm really ready to break my fast. Of course, I'm going to break it with a date first. Say the dua and then I can break my fast. Take the seat out. Mm -hmm. Today was really hard. I'm not going to lie. I also have that Syrian sambusak that I'm gonna eat too. Oh, we can't go outside right now. <laughs> Having kids in Ramadan is so hard. Why did no one warn me? Hmm? When you're so hungry, your patience is at like zero. I'm so excited to eat. I'm gonna do some chicken. And then I'm gonna do some lettuce, tomato, and onion. We got all the toppings today. I swear, it's like right when you break your fast, it's like you're a whole new person again. I don't know if anyone else can relate. Yum. It's literally about to go down. It's about to go down. I'm gonna get hungry when I'm editing this. So I'm probably gonna be fasting when I'm editing it. <laughs> Alec, where'd you go? Are you done eating? Okay, we're gonna try it. I wanna like open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it looks so good. It tastes like that one place we're back from. It's like, um, just mm. like how I'm, I imagined it. Thanks, babe. It's mm. really good. Like it? Mm. It's really good. Wow. Big. I don't really need the skirt, but I'm just gonna wear it just, just in case. Hello, what what? You've been created to want a companion, a family. Oh, Abu Dhar, you will live alone, die alone, and be raised up alone on the day of judgment. Some people were not meant to be surrounded by others, but most of us were. We're going to take my like, a shower and then I'm going to change into my pajamas and take this makeup off. I'm ready to get comfortable because I've been wearing this dress and I'm ready to get out of my hijab. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I've been in it way too long, like all day long I've been in it. And it gets really tiring after a while, so. We're going to match again today, okay? Oh. Got my Ramadan PJs on. I have been loving wearing these in Ramadan. They're so comfortable. I have a discount code I can put here for you guys. Maddie can stay in the shower. So I'll take that noise is. He hates taking baths, so we've been having to put him in the shower. Just to face, he's going through our Matching! You see? You see him, see him? So we can show them. So we can show them the matching. Ah. What's on your 
shirt? Show me, show me. What? Tell me, what's on your shirt? Tell me, what's this? What's that? <gasps> oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I like Baba. Baba? Baba. Let me do this first. Okay. okay, give me a hug so I can go bye bye. Mama's gonna go bye bye. Give me a hug so I can go bye bye. Bye, mommy. I love you, okay? Mama. Have a good night, okay? You wanna read a book? Baba, Baba. Oh, you want Baba to go? Yeah. You want mama to put you to sleep? Yeah. Okay. You want mama? You want mama to go? Yeah. Okay. Tell him to go. Go, mama. Go. 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 Okay, stop crying. No more crying. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Mama's gonna go. Come on. Let's go. Mama. Let's zip it up. Did you see that we're matching? Yeah. Can you say matching? No. Okay. No, Baba. Oh, Baba. Okay, drink your water. Okay, Mama's gonna put you to sleep. Baba. Okay. I'm gonna take my makeup off and call it a night. I'm so tired. This stuff is seriously the best at removing all my makeup. Nothing removes my makeup as good as this. Look at it. This is my second jar. Almost done with it. I swear, it gets every single thing off. I all have to do is just kind of like rub it in. It even removes like my eye makeup, mascara. It's hard to find stuff that actually like removes makeup. Now I look like a panda. Let me wash this off. Makeup is off, pajamas are on, and I feel so much better now. But I am really craving coffee, but it's like 10 p.m. already. So I'm gonna go get myself some decaf coffee, sit down on the couch, watch my shows, and just chill for a little bit. Try to drink some water, because I always forget to drink water, and I'm really thirsty. Okay, I got my cup of coffee. Maddox started crying again, so I had to go in there and put him back to sleep. But I got my cup of coffee, that's all that matters, <laughs> my water, and I'm going to watch my shows. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to this because I want to just get off my phone. Today I've been filming all day and editing all day, so I kind of just want to just relax. So I will pick the camera back up tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. If not, then the next day. Hello, you guys. It is the next day now, and I am not feeling good today. I am literally forced myself to get off the couch and get dressed because I have to film some things today but I'm not feeling good today I guess today's day 18 Ramadan I just I don't know what's wrong with me I just I feel really nauseous I'm really sleep deprived I'm not sleeping good um and yeah my stomach hurts I just don't feel good like it's just one of those days in Ramadan where you feel like you're here but you're not really here like that's today for me so that's how I'm starting off the day. I made myself get up and get dressed because I'm like, maybe I'll feel better afterwards. Still not feeling good, but it's okay. We're just going to get through it. Malik is at school. I wanted to do a modest fashion haul today. I got some packages in from Ferris, and they're so cute. They just dropped this collection. I think it's for Ramadan and Eid. So let's try them on together, and I will show you guys the pieces. I do have a discount code for you guys that I will attach here, and it'll get you some money off. Make sure to check them out. They have the most cutest, modest pieces ever. This is their Pearl Relaxed Abaya. How cute is this? So I actually got this in a size small, and I'm glad I did because, as you can tell, it runs a little bit large, which is good because it's super modest. And, of course, we're all about being modest. Um, but it's, like, so simple yet so elegant. It has these beautiful pearls going down. Let me get closer so you guys can kind of see it better. These pearls going all the way down. It is so cute. I'm really loving this one. I feel like you can really dress this up or dress it down. I kind of wore heels with it, so I kind of dressed it up a little bit. But yeah, I'm loving this. This is from their Ramadan collection, and I believe they also just dropped an A collection. So lots of good pieces to shop from. But let me go ahead and try on the next one and show it to you guys. Here's the second option. It's this skirt set. So you buy the top and the bottom separately, but it is so cute. I actually already have a skirt set from them that I love so much. I always get compliments on it. It's that green one. Have maybe seen me wearing it. I've worn it in my vlogs before, but I got a size small on the top and bottom of this. So I do feel like their pieces tend to run a little bit bigger, but again, 
it's for modesty but always make sure to check their size charts because it'll tell you like exactly your measurements and what size you should get and that's what i always do to make sure i get the right size and yeah i really love this one i think this one comes in a few other colors as well let me get a little bit closer you guys can see it i feel like i need a different color top to go underneath it but i don't have one i need to buy some more but this is so cute and modest. This next one, I think you guys are really gonna love. Guys, this is the last piece. This is their linen blend I buy it, and it's in blue. It is so cute. So it comes in a set. This is like an under piece dress. This one you kind of just like throw over it. Um, and then it came with a belt. And make sure to, if you get this, make sure to tie it on the under piece, not the over piece. Because I did that at first and I was like, wait a second, this looks weird. So I had to go back and look at their pictures. And yeah, you have to tie it around the bottom piece, not the, not like all over it, because then it just looks strange. But this is so cute. I actually got a medium in this, and I'm glad I did, because it fits me really, really well. So just make sure to look at the sides charts and base your picks off of that one. Let me know which piece is your favorite down below, which one you would get. I'm curious to know. Um, but yeah, make sure to check them out. Again, my code is META, and it'll save you some money off. Hello you guys, it's your mama Badak. Today is Friday and we are going to go to Friday prayers, but we're running a little bit late, so I got to kind of hurry. I'm just going to show you guys my Avaya real quick. This is the one I showed you guys in my little try on haul yesterday. It is so cute. I love it so much. And it's just so quick and easy to throw on. Um, all I put on was like sunscreen and some blush, but I'm going to go bare face today. I don't feel like putting on makeup. So come along with us to Friday prayers. Okay, you guys, we're on our way to Friday prayers. Madak is like asleep in the back seat and we are like so I'm so far you tired. Like, I'm really tired. Yeah, I am tired. Like, I'm like dragging. Like, I'm barely making it. We've been staying up too late. We've yeah, we, need, we really need to start sleeping earlier. It's so hard. I feel like I'm just like not here. We made it, and it looks so packed. 